Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in tonight to my live stream. I am Michael Gracia, and I have a very um, fun show planned. I am going to be talking about storyboarding. I'm going to continue with my next step of, of the animation I'm working on. I spent some time doing uh, the character design, then the turnarounds, and I'm sorry, I'm just doing a little setup. Uh, I've had a very uh, busy day today, and I am just uh, setting stuff up, and let's just kind of just drag this here. Yes, I can. I just want to make a sh quick announcement for those watching. Tomorrow night, I am making a return to one of the podcasts that I helped start. Um, I helped start a, a podcast called In Credit Chat. And what happened was I created, I created it with, my, uh, with my friend Mike Lopez, who... Uh, we used to do in credit kids where we traveled to ki and run kids sections. And then we would do uh, in credit con, which was a comic con that actually just had their holiday show this weekend uh, that I attended. And it was uh, a fun show. It was in the Poughkeepsie Galleria. Um, anyway, to uh, tomorrow night on the um, on YouTube and Facebook uh, at in credit con HV. We, Mike and I, will both be interviewing Rick Goldsmith, who is a uh, Rankin Bass historian and author. This guy knows everything. We'll be talking about majority of the of the Christmas uh, uh, shows they've done, obviously, since it's the time of year. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Rick is returning to him credit chat. I think this might be his third year doing it. Maybe his fourth year. I don't remember. He always comes on around. Around Chris time, this is the first time I'm going to get to talk to him, and I've been eager to talk to him because I love Rankin Bass uh, stuff. So let's let's get into uh, let's get into some animation stuff. So also before we get into that, please do not forget to check out at the Wiz Comic on both Instagram and Facebook. New strips up every Wednesday night. Speaking of that, I will probably be drawing the Wiz while I'm talking with uh, Rick tomorrow. Um, don't worry, it won't cause any issues. Um, in the meantime, I want to pull up, and I'm still I'm still pulling up a couple of things, but um, I want to pull up uh, Adobe Animate. That's what I'm going to be working in today. Now, there are multiple um, ways to create storyboards. And you know what? Excuse me. I don't need to be on screen right now. I'm just going to give the whole screen. Um, there's there's many ways to create storyboards. And everyone does them differently. When I storyboard for other people, I am not going to storyboard the way I'm storyboarding tonight. What tends to happen is people tend to... Um, Uh, what's it called? People tend to, uh, uh, why is this not? I'm sorry. I was just trying to click on something. What happens is people, uh, what I, what I tend to do is I tend to actually draw a storyboard. So it's a sequential, uh, images going on in a scene. Um, you know, talking about where things zoom, where they don't zoom, uh, you know, maybe where they pan, maybe, you know, whatever, um, and have cut scenes and when I animate for myself, or I'm storyboarding for myself, I tend to storyboard in the software that I'm going to be animating it. You see, when people create a, uh, a storyboard, afterwards, those, you know, now everything's digital, but in the old days, you used to, you know, scan them in, make them into what we call an automatic, you know, or take photographs, depending how far back we're going. Um you know, and they would make an animatic. And what the animatic is, 
is the storyboards basically timed out to let people know um, or let the, the director or whoever know that they are, um, uh, you know, how long it's going to take for an action to be up on screen or, or all this stuff, right? So for me, because I'm working in Adobe Animate, what I'm doing is I'm going to make kind of my animatic at the same time I'm storyboarding. So it's a little different um, than, than a traditional storyboard, but it is how I storyboard when I storyboard for myself. Um, the first thing I need to do is import my sounds. So file, import, library. I'm taking the glasses off here. Um, what do we call it? I don't remember the title of it now. Um, let's go Bert. And, nope. Let's just give me one second. This is from December 4th. This could be it. Uh, why wasn't it letting me take that in file? Let me go to... I apologize, guys. Um, so I believe I had the sound on here, didn't I? Sorry, I'm just looking real quick. No, I didn't have the sound on here. Um, let me try this one more time. Oh, I know I really should be a little, a uh, little more on top of things here. Um, it's not the the uh, the audio is not coming up. Give me one more second. I can re-download it. I do apologize for this. So let me just, uh, oh. hi, Dylan. Get me back for a second here. Where is my... Mm -hmm. Try the other email. Why is it opening up the old stuff here? I'm sorry, guys. Uh, where's my glasses? I see people commenting. I am so sorry about this. I thought I had the video or the audio very easy to grab. All right. So what I'm going to do, and if you want to watch just... Let me uh, cancel this. I'm going to play this for you. Um, Did it play in here? It's just going to go straight through, right? Yeah, it's not going to do that. Never mind. Uh, I just wanted to give you something to look at while, uh, while I look for this. Um, basically, I just need the sound file, which I had on the desktop, but I cleaned up my computer, and I might have moved it, and I apologize for it. Um, probably in this folder somewhere here, but it's not allowing me to import the audio. Let me see something here. 
Why is this all messed up here? Date modified, not date modified. I can't let me go by kind so I can find it quicker. So how's everyone tonight? You guys ready for some animation? This way. Let's see what this one is. It's one of these two. It's in one of these here. So that's what this is. So it's in the other one, probably. Because I know I had it. Let's see. Hmm. Audio's not there. Oh, this is very uh, upsetting to me here because uh, next week is the Christmas week. And I will. Oh, nope. That's, I think, is this it? Nope. That's just the movement. Um, I know Joe emailed it to me the other day. And I'm not. Nope, I don't know why that. I did this in December. Oh, God. Why is it whenever I'm ready to go, things happen, you know? Um, okay, so basically... Uh, uh, did I just close out everything? That is life today, right? Um, so as I, as I try to pull this file again, um, and Joe, if you're watching, can you email it to me? That's the script, which I'm going to open in a new tab so I can look at it. And then this one is... Let me see if I can just drag this. No, I cannot. Okay, let's do this. One more thing. Because I have the file that I can listen to, but I want you guys to be able to listen to it. Okay. Which I've just refound the sound. It wasn't uh, what I thought it was. Okay, so the audio now has been... Inputted. I'm going to. Uh, where is it? Remove frames. Bring that in. And now let me set this. Actually, you know what? Let me copy this. Copy. I'm going to put it in the other one here. Edit. Paste. Okay. And I'm just going to go out. I don't know how far this is going to go out. But for now, insert keyframe and extend this all the way to the end. Insert 
two frame. And let's just go. It's about a minute long, so I'm going to go out to here. If I need to go more, I will. And it looks like it officially... Why isn't it extending it out? Oh, wow, it stopped. It don't, oh, I know. Oh, it's one of those days, guys. One of those days, right? And I'm hitting the wrong button, which is why it's not selecting everything. Okay. Now, I'm going to take that. Just, where is it here? I just want to extend this out as far as it goes. And we're going to look about, like I said, around 60 seconds. Because that is where it supposed to end 58 so 60 right here so it does end it does end a little bit before so it re it ends at i'm just going to leave it all the way out there all right and you guys aren't hearing a thing right now because what i got to do is oh you should be able to hear it so if i was to play it, I'm just going to play it again just so you guys can hear it. Okay.
I, what's the word? Um, I zoomed out, okay? Um, so this is why I zoomed out. This is going to be a long scene that pans, and it's going to take up the majority of the music. Now, well, this first scene won't. But the first scene, based on what the script says, is it's an animation studio, right? So when we come in here, I was thinking of drawing kind of like the classic Hanna-Barbera studio, which if we, if you guys know kind of what it looked like, there was a cylinder shape here, and then it kind of went out. These were the two, this was... And obviously, when I do the backgrounds, the perspective will be better, and it'll go up a bit, right? Um, here, here. Just doing a few things here. I know they had these little looks. Now, I'm not saying this is going to be the exact building. I might even just say, hey, you know what? Let's just create, you know... Uh, a simple building here, right, on the street, and maybe it has a sign on it. And we'll call it, uh, I don't know, let's go G Neric Animation Studio. Right, and then we'll have some doors, and we'll have some windows, and we'll have more windows here. We're going to do it this way, so it's going to look more like an actual building. Let's get a better eraser. Make it a little bigger. I'm already humming the songs, you know? Oh, I, I have to lower my uh, brush size. There we go. Okay, I'll probably go more for that Hanna Barbera look. I just I like that better. Um, but just for now, while I'm thinking, I'll have that. You know, maybe there's a a tree over on the side here. Maybe some bushes in the front. There we go. There's the walkway. Um, maybe a city in the background, right? Okay. Now that I have that, um, what I'm going to do... No, let me just see. Some, okay. Um, is I'm going to select all here. I'm going to convert that to a symbol. Why is it not letting me convert to symbol? Because I deselected everything. Okay. That's interesting. I'll just go up to modify uh, a symbol. Why isn't it? Oh, up here. And I'm going to call this uh, Studio Exterior. Okay. So now what can happen with this is while I hold this up for a little bit. Whoops, too far. Um, so this is going to stay up. Maybe we'll go for another second here. Maybe this is too long. Again, I don't know. But then I'm going to do another zoom on it. Okay. And insert keyframe. Now I could do, and this is just to do it cheap and quick. Um, insert keyframe here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one. And we're going to modify it. And I'm going to zoom in now. There is camera work I could do. Whoops. Um, 
there is camera work that I'm able to do with it. Um, so I'm right here. And I would have, uh, um, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'm just going for quickness for myself. And maybe if I did this in the other one, you know, all this was blacked out here, like a darker color. And then this one kind of had the light on. So we know this is where we're going to. And maybe I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more. Two, bring that in, and let's just move this up. So, what do I do? I'll do. There we go. And now I want to move this. So, you know, we're zooming in, and we know where we are right now. And then this is only going to stay up for maybe half a second. And this is where the next, whoops, insert blank here. This is where the next fade is going to be. And this is where we're going to fade into that long shot that I was, I was telling you, that big pan that's going to happen. Now, what I wanted to do in this scene is get a, um, uh, uh, get a shot of the inside of, of the animation studio where we're seeing a, 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 like a, a, a classic thing of, of animation. So it's not just like the throwback to Hanna-Barbera. We are looking at people and looking at things that um, are kind of like from the olden days of animation and filmmaking and stuff. So some, some people I've admired are going to be in there. And I thought what I would do is I would start with, with Disney and of iWorks kind of standing over a drawing uh, board. Um, and as we pan, we're going to see people like Tex Avery Mike Maltese, uh, Ed Benedict, uh, uh, you know, uh, Chuck Jones, Mac Raining. I thought maybe having a little um, recording booth in the background and, and, you know, put Dawes in there and, and maybe even add Joe since he did, the, uh, did the, the performance of the voices that you heard earlier. Um, you know, maybe have Hannah and Barbara in there. And this is going to be a still image. There's no, not going to be any movement in there except one thing and that's going to be one of the characters um but i thought it'd be funny to have like uh uh will hannah and joe barbera chasing like a mouse and ca a cat and mouse doesn't have to be tom and jerry exactly but maybe colored like them although i'm what i'm thinking of when i do this scene is to color everything whether it's kind of in grayscale or like a sepia tone and have the character that's moving through it in color so he pops out while the rest kind of has that feel of history in there. Now, am I 100% I'm going to color it that way? Absolutely not. I'm not sure about anything right now. This is just the idea stage for me. And I want to see what I could uh, what I could do. And again, it's a little different than, um, than traditional... Uh, uh, storyboarding. Um, if I was to, by the way, if I was to work with storyboards, um, traditionally I would have, whoops, I would have something with a border here, here, you know, depending how it's laid out, there might be some things under here for notes or there might have notes on the side or whatever, you know, I don't know, uh, depending on the type of board I'm working on. Um, and then those pieces would be put together into the animatic. What I'm doing is, again, I'm just building it kind of a storyboard slash animatic at the same time. So 
this is going to take place and move. So um, I might work in another color just to help me out right now. So let's get like a, a little bluish color here. And what I'm thinking, not there, is let's bring in some depth to it. And what's going to happen is, like I said, and this is going to help me with kind of the background. We're going to start with maybe a board here, right? Now, you know what? Let's not put it at that angle because if I put it at that angle, you're not really going to see oven walt. And I, I want them to kind of be the first. So let's put it over here, the board. Okay. And... Here's a little table for them right now. And we would have Walt. Put his hair back. That with his big nose, mustache. And here he is, hunched over. Looking at things while Ub is here. Sketching. And we've got to know what's up, so let's put his hair up, right? And, you know, if I want to throw a little hint to their, to, to their work, I could draw Mickey. I could draw, um, um, uh, what's it called? You know, um, God, who is the character? Why am I blanking on the character now? You know, something dealing with, like, the... the you know, Oswald or the Alice comedies or, or something like that, or just pay a tribute to, uh, to Ub and maybe have a little frog over here. I don't know. Not that I don't want to pay a tribute to Disney, but I am a, a you know, I am a bigger Ub fan than I am of a Disney fan. Right. And as the drawing goes and I'm going to just zoom out for now and i'm gonna oops not that i didn't mean that i'm gonna zoom out on on this and i'm gonna shrink it down whoops i'm gonna shrink it down a bit because this does help me right and since this is vector i can scale and not lose any any information but now i can zoom in and draw So now that I'm zoomed in here a bit, I can keep going down this wall here. And who would I want to go to next? Maybe, uh, you know, maybe Tex. So I could put Tex over here. I should probably shrink my uh, brush size. So, that's good to it. So let's put text over here. And you know what? And he should be, he should probably be laughing, right? Oh, you know what might be fun? Maybe we'll hold off on text. Put him somewhere else, right? Let's get... Let's get... Ed Benedict. And we'll put him here. And I'll, I want to see his drawing board. Now, Ed has always been one of my favorite character designers and there's that oh there's that picture of him always kind of like looking off to the side or back right i'll just put him on a stool for now and you know he designed characters like yogi bear and and, and things and And before I actually do this drawing, which I'll probably draw in Photoshop and bring it in, um, let's do a little tribute to Yogi. He's got a picnic basket next to him. Right. Yogi right 
here and I'll have his, we're going to, what's going to be fun is, you know, back in the, you know, you guys know animators, they make faces in the mirror. So I'm going to have his reflection just look very silly. So here he is with his tongue sticking out or something. So he'll be in the mirror over there. So we got Walt and Ub. Then we got, uh, who I say? This is Ed. Right? And as I continue down, you know, maybe over here, we get another desk. And I don't know if this is going to be the exact setup. This is what is playing in my head right now. And at this one, uh, let's do it's quicker if I do this. There we go. Maybe at the table here, we have, maybe we have Chuck Jones there. I'll give him his goatee you know, or beard, depending when it was, right? And he's smiling and in his hand, his pencil will look like a big carrot. And it'll hold it just like the idea of books, right? So we got CJ there. Right. Now, I got to continue drawing this picture. So I'm just going to move it along right now. Let's just move it over a bit. Then after that, we're going to have... Let's put maybe the recording booth right here. And in the booth, which we can see out of, that'll be glass. We'll have Dawes over here. And, or actually, we'll have Joe over here. Dawes is much shorter. I'll have a little here and another one over here and that will make a, a shorter doors right mm. and we'll have i don't know should we have the microphone hanging down maybe i'll change that but i have the microphone hanging down right now and recording in session so we'll have that. And as we go down, maybe something over here. So I'm just looking. Let's let's have a man facing this way. He'll have a table with a typewriter on it. Or a drawing pad might even be better. Um Maybe I'll have papers scattered, and this is where um, Mike Maltese will be. So this is JB and DB, and this is MM. Okay, as we're going down, and we're drawing. Whoops, come on. Oh, I didn't select everything yet. Let's move it down a bit. And here's where we're going to end. Not end. We still need to put um, uh, Tex Avery. And what I'm going to do with Tex is behind here. Actually, I'm going to put him in a whole other room by himself. And in that room, which we'll be able to see into... He'll be sitting in a chair. There he is for now. He's in a chair looking through, you know, a moviola. So I have some things here, this over here, film going that way, and I'll draw what a moviola would look like 
later, you know? And as we continue down, while he's doing that over here, you know, um, actually, you know what might be fun? I'm sorry, I'm just thinking. I get ideas all the time. Everything I'm doing right now could change. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to draw uh, a person over here next to him, looking at it with him, or just standing up against the wall, kind of like this. And he'll be, you know, in some position saying something. But this is, this will be, so this is, uh, uh, who do I say? Tex Avery. We'll make this uh, Mac Raining. Um, because I think humor wise, they're both fantastic. And then we're going to end with uh with william hannah over here and joe next to him they're gonna be running they would just like joe to be covering will's face there but we're going to in actual drawing, you know, when I draw, it won't be covering it. And we'll have the cat right here. There he is moving fast, uh, chasing the little mouse. So I, wanna, I wanted a picture to show, like, my love of the history of animation, you know? And we could see how long it is now. Now, as I zoom out, Obviously, things will change. This perspective is off. It's, whoops, it's not going to be, it's not going to be the perfect uh, animation, uh, or um, this is not the perfect idea. I'm going to want things in the background as well. It's not just going to be um, all these guys, and then because when we get to the end. What I want to have is this room over here with a door. Whoops, let me do. Let's just move this over and zoom in. Well, I'm zooming in over there for some reason, but that's okay. We're going to zoom in over here, and on this door... We're going to have, why is, oh, I selected the wrong thing, sorry. We're going to have, it's a, the writer's room. Now, while we're panning through here, let's put a doorknob right there. Or on the other side, actually, it might be better based on, do they have a redo? It's the redo key command, I forget in here. Oh, yeah. Um, it just will be easier when the other guy comes to it. So what's going to happen throughout this entire image here is we're going to pan this and we're going to get to the writer's room. So if I scroll, before I even do anything, if I scroll through here and I just want to know when they're going to start talking, so they're probably going to start talking... I think it's around, nope, before that. Um, oh, I think it's a, only a 15 second, not a 30 second intro. Sorry. So they're going to go back to around here. So it's going to start like right around here. Okay. So around, um, that's what, 16, 14 seconds? No, I mean 16. So around 15 seconds, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a, uh, a, a, a new 
uh, frame. And it didn't work. Insert keyframe. There we go. So just like I did to the last one, I'm going to create a motion tween here, a classic tween. Yeah, I know it has to be. And so right now nothing's happening, but I've come to the last one. And on the last frame, it's going to be right here. So you can see it going backwards, right? So if we watch what we have so far, Now, that fade right there gives me enough time. And I saw things I didn't, uh, honestly, I, I wasn't happy with already in here. Um, you know, for timing in the beginning, I think they're up too long or whatever. And I, and I kind of feel this one moves a little fast, this last scene. So... So I think I already need to play with timing, but I'm not going to do that right now because what this does, this from it stopping, what it allows me to do is either do another fade, another cut, or what's going to happen is we're going to have one of the characters walk through everything till he gets to that door. So right now, if I really wanted to, let me go back to here. Like I think the 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 whole movement of the camera and everything for generic animation studio, this holds for too long, you know? So I mean I probably would actually just bring it back to about here. And then from here here um remove frames and now it's back to there so let's just see for my sake uh, that might have been a little too quick let me undo that so that i can just keep it where it is and i can go back and fix it later okay so i got that there Now, one of the things I want to do on here is I want to create a new layer, and I want to insert, come on, just right there, insert uh, a blank keyframe. And what I'm going to do on this keyframe, and I'm probably going to go back to black because it's easier to draw with right now. And let me zoom in. Is I'm going to draw, and what I forgot to actually do, um, hold on. Do it here. I forgot to. Oh, now that it's a, a thing, I got a. Oh. Oh. Where is it here? Edit symbol. So, what I want to do is come over to here and I want to make sure that I add a door. It's okay. It's a different color right now. I don't care. But it's something that the character will have to walk through, you know? And I'll leave the door looking like it's open. I'll do it over on this side. These are the hinges. Whatever. And there's the other door. So someone's going to walk in through there. And back to in here so i'm back on here and now that i can see the door over here just to help me out i'm going to put that character from before and i could actually make him walk and change stuff around and give him more of a you know a a look of 
you know, how he's going to walk and where things are going to do, if he's going to interact with any of them. But for now, we're going to... Uh, where is, I don't like what, the way they move some of this stuff around here. Okay, so I got him. I'm just going to go to modify. Whoops, modify, convert to symbol, and I'm just going to call this, I think this is Bart. I forget who they are right now. So what's going to happen is I'm going to move, whoops, undo. I'm going to move Bart off the page a little bit. And I know it's panning. Usually you don't do a pan and a movement at the same time, so... Oh, uh, let's see how it's going to work out. Like, he literally should be standing. I mean, I could do it, yeah. Let's... Too far. Insert keyframe. I think this is going to be insert a class of tween. And so I want to have him now be and, and we'll I'll make this that he can move around everything. So maybe I might not be able to have him I I already have to move Mike because he's going to be having an issue. Wait, why'd that happen? Hold on, undo. Undo that. Who is, what is going on here? Why did that appear? There we go. And he should be this one. Let's see. I want to check something. Oh, okay. Sorry, it wasn't what I thought it was. So let's go back to the beginning and see what this looks like. So obviously my size so obviously my sizing is off um, I'm gonna have to work on that but that's easy once I get into the drawing hmm. so this is where they're gonna be in a new scene so I'm just gonna leave this up because if I wanted to, I haven't decided if I want to do this here, I think what I might do is cut the scene here. Okay, insert uh, blank keyframe, insert blank keyframe. So now what I'm gonna draw just for that moment, let's zoom out. And I want to change the color. This time maybe I'll go in the reddish family, orange or whatever. And I'm going to draw the, the uh, what do they call it? The writer's room. So here's the door to the writer's room. right? And I'm actually going to leave this empty because that'll be on another layer so I can have it open. So over here, what I'll do now, when I, I, I think I mentioned this in one of my first uh, videos, when I started doing this, when I want to create the writer's room or, or the, yeah, the writer's room, I had the idea of making it almost like the Dick Van Dyke set. 
uh, for the Dick Van Dyke show. I always that that's my all time favorite sitcom. Always makes me laugh. So in my head, I already have the vision of what this room looks like. So I'm gonna uh, even take away the door a bit right now because I know if the door is here, right? The there's a filing. Well, there's Rob's punching bag over here. There's a filing cabinet, right? And then there's the desk that's over here with the typewriter in the front and the phone over here and everything. So they have this L-shaped desk. I don't want to focus on the L-shaped desk. I think I'm going to change it up just a little bit um, and put the desk you know, you know, just base it slightly off of it. I do like the idea of a filing cabinet here. And I know there's another filing cabinet off to the side. And here's the picture win well, the window, but that would go out into the studio and not the in that actual look outside. So I am making some some adjustments. Over here, you know, we could have a chair. And this is what they have. On the it, guys, if you've never watched the Dick Van Dyke show, oh my god, one of the best best shows around, right? Um, they have the chair. This is where you know, someone sits right here, right? And they have the there's a little coffee table right here, and then there's the couch. So, do I want to see all this? Excuse me, is my question. And I got and there and by the way, there's a coffee table right here. So I got to figure out where is the majority of this scene taking place because I don't want to draw many backgrounds. Backgrounds take a long time. It actually takes me longer to draw a background than it does um, to animate sometimes because once the characters are broken up, like here, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna show you guys something. Let me stop. Let me see if I have it on the, on here uh, before I, I do anything. Um, Oh, did I call it? Bear belly animation, that's not And way too many files. I got to clean this computer. Way too many PDFs. Oh, okay. So it should be somewhere around here. Burning, 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 burning. That is weird. Okay. What if I look up? Okay, whoops. Let's see. There's the background. Okay. So here's a background that I wanted to do. Let me let me show you guys this. I was really going for a Hanna-Barbera background when I when I did this animation a long time ago. And this background literally took me digitally. This is all digital. Maybe seven or eight hours now mind you i made lots and lots of changes on this this file used to have you know over 30 plus layers okay um i eventually just to save memory shrunk them down 
Um, and that flower is what the animation's about, which is why it's slightly different than the rest of the of the background. But um, yeah, I'm not good at digital painting. You've heard me talk about how I'm colorblind. So this was a lot of me calling out to my wife, hey, um, how's this look? You know, <laughs> uh, do, do these colors match? Am I in the right, uh, you know, am I using the right value? All this stuff, like I, it was a lot. And it, and it was a very uh, stressful piece for me to do. Um, but I did this all in Photoshop. I, I played around with, with some stuff. And I might actually even consider doing the background similar to this. Not Obviously not a, a nature background, a more, um, uh, what's the word? you know, architectural-based background because we're inside. But I do like like the, the the painterly look and because of my um color blindness it takes me a lot longer to get stuff like this done the animation i can fly through once the characters are ready to go and the pieces are there it's 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 almost like drag and drop for me um but this this is the hard part but i do like how this came out it's one of it's one of the pieces i'm very happy with um but yeah, it was a lot of studying old uh, Yogi Bear cartoons and uh, Huckleberry Hound and stuff. And I was watching like all those that were there and looking up their, their layout designers and, and trying to figure out what brushes best worked in Photoshop for this. And that, that was another way. I was doing a lot of experimenting when I worked on this one here. Um, but yeah, this takes me forever to do. Let's uh, stop the share. Let's go back to uh, what happened to, uh, there it is. Now, I just realized it is still called Untitled. So that means I haven't saved it yet. Uh, let's make sure, oops, I'm in Chrome. I'm in the wrong one. Let's make sure that I don't mess up here. File, save as. And we will call it, uh, what am I calling it again? Um, uh, little, little bitty bit storyboard. Okay, so let's get back to, let's get back to this scene here. Um, Now, one thing I am going to show is uh, I'm just looking for a good image of it. What's this? Oh, that's right. I was a little off. I did forget something on the Dick Van Dyke show. Let's see. Oops. What is going on? So someone i found this piece here lego ideas i don't know where it's from um it's from ideas.lego.com someone built you know the dick van dyke office out of legos and i wonder if i can grab this image and bring in no i can't save image as does it come in nope i can't uh wait what is it Oh, wait, I think I can. Um, let's see, see. Oh, no, I can't. It saved as a web file. I'm sorry, guys. But this is a cool thing if you could. Uh, okay, I found I, I was taking it from the website. Anyway, um, this right here is a great concept of the Dick Van Dyke office. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it better. All right. This, so you can see here, it had the chair. The filing cabinet was on this side. This was a bookcase. Um, and that's a bookcase. And you can see the typewriter 
a typewriter was over here. The desk was empty. There was a piano right there when you walked in, a water cooler, um, you know, the chairs, the filing cabinets, the couch, a lamp over here. So, and this was the coat rack. Um, they didn't put his, uh, his punching bag unless this is supposed to be it, but I always thought it was over here next to the closet. So I don't know, but this is my basis for this office. So I need to think about how many, how many, um, scenes, you know, images am I going to use from here? And I really only want to use one, maybe two, because again, backgrounds, I don't like doing. And if I had a friend I could ask to do a background for me, I would ask him. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to select all this and I'm going to delete it. All right. So what I'm going to do when I come on, on here is, and the reason I want, uh, by the way, you know, these are things I'm thinking about when I listen to the script and when Bert and Bart are talking about the boots and the, you know, and, and, and like, you know, I need to show the boots so I can't have them behind the desk. I need to figure out something else. So I, I do like the idea of, of, um, uh, what's his name? I guess that was Bart, I think coming into the office. Right. And I do like the idea of, um, I don't know if we need the piano, but I do like the idea of the desk. I always thought it was an L shape, but I'm going to keep that. No, he's not going to be able to come in if I go that far, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the desk over here with the typewriter on it. So we know that it deals with writing, maybe a cup with some pens, okay? And as I come in, you know, there could be, you know, it is the writer's room. We could have a built-in bookcase. Again, I don't want to go too crazy because I have to draw all this, you know, and have the books on here. Okay, maybe an award or something or a trophy of some sort. I don't know. You know, something's over there, right? So here's the typewriter. We know it's the typewriter. There's a piece of paper um, coming out. You know, letter of resignation might say on there or something or, or uh, you know. So I'm, I'm coming in over here. Over here, I like that idea of the couch. So I'm going to put a couch right here. And again, these are just loose sketches to help me out. So I got a couch right here. I think it's a little too thick. But I want that. I want the coffee table here. Okay, and I want the chair here, so we'll put a chair right here as well, right? So again, whatever. And just the for me, these are notes. Things will look better later on. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Thank you for that. Joe says, I love you in a purely tonic manner. I agree. I, I, I'm, I'm the same way. That's how I love myself. Purely platonic. Um, it says Dawes Butler, Joe Biv, and Michael Gracia make a cartoon. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming, man. And, you know, we're going to have something up here, you know, like a picture of something. And, uh, and maybe it's a cartoon character. Maybe I'll throw one of my characters in there, like the Wiz or Plunger Pup or, or just my – or that Bernie Bear character, which I haven't shown that animation to in years, but um, that one I did the background for. Maybe I'll throw the background in the picture. Who knows? Okay, so I have this. Now, in this here, I'm going to – and again, I'll do it in a different color. It helps me know that. So what I'm thinking – is putting 
the chubby guy, Bert, over here. I never know who's who's starting, and here he is, and maybe there's a writing pad. You know what? I didn't draw it in orange. I'll do it here. Maybe there's a waste paper basket right there, you know, and some crumpled up ideas. Uh, we'll have another writing couple of sheets of paper, some pens, a coffee cup, right? We'll have some things over here. And on a new layer... I'm going to bring in him, and I'm going to insert the new keyframe right here. Insert blank keyframe. And what's going to happen is, and I'll, again, I'll draw this. I'm going to get a different color. Let's just get something that can go over it right now. And that's too close for me in color. Sorry. I use really funky colors sometimes um, because I need to be able to see them. And then when I when I work, um, um, what was I going to say? Uh, when I actually go to coloring it, that's where I get help and ask about colors. So let me just use something kind of bright, like this yellow here. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. So this is the door for, with that, that has the words writer's room backwards on it. And the handle will be over here based on how I set it up in the last picture. Oh, got more comments. Let me see. Um, the Dick Van Dyke room had a couch. Yes. Uh, photos of the wives. That's a good idea. All right. I don't know what the maybe was from. Probably that. What's this one? Bart is the skinny tall one who speaks first who says Eber. you know whatever that is however you say it. so yeah i called him bart okay I'm, I'm i'm right then i'm right okay all right so what's going to happen here and i'm sorry i keep taking my glasses on and off it's for me to see and i don't know if i'm going to do this whole thing tonight because it's already 10 20. um so what's going to happen is i'm going to select this yellow here and actually, you know what? I'm going to just come over. So they start talking here. So the door has to kind of be opened by here. So insert a blank keyframe. Okay. And then that's when the door, we're going to... Actually, I should probably put the door handle on the other side um, just because of the way it's going to open. I think it should open up like this. So I'll change that, and I will fix that in there. So the handle will be over here. I will fix that in, in both pictures. Um, so wait, what just happened? I drew on the wrong layer. I'm sorry. I'm going to do that. I don't know why it didn't take that. I'll just redo all that. Okay, so if we look, the door is now open here. And if I go to this one here, the handle should be over here. So, and right now I'm not going to... I could do if I wanted to. I'll just do it for fun. Why not, right? Insert blank keyframe. And let's... Just to show a little animation, right? So... And you know what I'm going to do? Just because I can. Where is my papers? I'm gonna, I'm not completely filled, that's what happens. That 
should take care of that. Okay, next rain. And the reason I'm, I'm just, what is going on? Come on, people, there we go. Let's try this. Let's redraw this better. Okay. Now, the reason I'm doing it, uh, coloring it, is because um, Bart is going to be coming in, and I, it's just going to look messy if I go to the next one, you know? Um, I'm just going to fill it real quick here. Okay. If he's standing behind it. Okay. And then just so we know it cuts off right around here. And there's something in front of it. So now when we look at it, and he will be on a new layer. I should be labeling these layers. And I'm going to go back to black to draw him in. So he's going to be right here. And as we get to this frame... You know, we'll see his hand as well on the handle. And then when the door is completely open. He'll be coming in. He'll be standing like this. And his hand will be off the handle now. Okay. And I'll have his hand up. Or actually, let's undo that. Wait, what just happened here? Oh, man, I totally messed this up. All right, let's do this. I forgot to add keyframes. Insert. Um, keyframe, and let's just erase all of this. Oh, I don't want the door erased. Sorry. Delete that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This selection stuff really annoys me. Okay. Now that I'm on here. Okay, then when we get to here, insert blank key, uh, no, just keyframe. And what I want to do is have him here now, right? And I'll have his arm down and I'm just listening to where it says, hey, Bert. Okay, so what I'm going to, and this is where a new scene would happen, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to um, let me go to the end. The right key down. Let me make sure I got the right part so I don't screw up anything else. Okay, I do. And I'm going to remove frames. Okay. So now... Oh, mother. Hold on, it deleted everything. Why did that happen? I want from... Insert frame. Come on. Okay. 
There we go. Now, from here to the end, I want to delete this. Shift key. Remove frames. Okay, now when I go back, ta-da, everything's stopping where I want it to. So he hasn't said hey, Bert, yet. This is where he's saying it. So what I'm going to do over here, insert a blank keyframe, and what I want is, whoops, I don't want to use that color. Let's go to black. I want um, Bart over here. Mustache, his mouth open. Okay, these are his eyes right there. And he, you know, we're going to have him looking down since uh, Bert is in the chair. And there he is, and he'll have his hand. Okay, so here he is, right? Insert. Um, okay, and then actually, what I what I think I might do. is I'm going to cut his hand here and what is the butt? Let me listen real quick. This is the thing I hate. Okay, so I can extend this out to about here, and one, two, copy frames, paste, no, right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, why did it take? Oh, I see what I did. Okay, hold on. Undo, undo. Okay, so if I insert insert frame keyframe, what? I hate when it does that. Insert keyframe. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on this frame, paste the arm, right? And I'm going to paste it. Uh, let me move the rotation joint. So I'm going to have it down here. And it's going to ask me for insert. Yep. Oh, it's moving the whole thing. Never mind. I'll do it myself by hand. And now that I just want to get that hand. So let's get off of that. Let's select all over here. Whoops. That rotation point, and I'm just going to bring it up. And if it has to move for a bumper, that's actually a pretty good. What happened to the move of the arm, the rotation of the arm? Okay. Okay, down here, insert. Now I can go back and do that rotation I was doing. Now. 
then. Oops. Okay, so like right there. And okay, whatever. It's 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 moving. He's gonna say, "Hey, Bert." Whoa, 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 we got, let's see, we got, uh, oh, Joe. so we got, hey, thank you for everybody who's tuning in, I really appreciate it, um, all right, so I got the hay, the hay bird, and then we're going to cut, and, and by doing these close-ups, it's going to help me, um, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Save on drawing a bunch of backgrounds. It's going to help me on drawing so much constantly. But let's take a look at how how it's moving right now. I mean that last that last jerk of the arm that that'll be fixed. So let's just go back to the beginning real quick. Uh, thanks, Joe. He, he, he say it's uh, fascinating to watch. I I appreciate that. So let's give it a little, go back to the beginning here. I'm going to take a sip of water before I watch it. So I'm going to pay attention closely. And I and like I said, I already see things I want to fix in the intro, um, things I want to move around in that drawing. So that's what, where when backgrounds come in and some layout uh, stuff I'm going to do. But I, thank you, Chris. Um, what's going to happen as I, as I, as I do this, I'm going to make a lot of changes. I, like I said, I probably won't start animating until sometime in January, maybe even February. There's a lot of work to do outside of this. And my comic strip, The Wiz, I have to draw still. And I have some other projects I'm working on in addition to having a day job. So it's going to be slow, but I'm going to totally make this animation I really want it done by the end of February. So here we go. Let me just, whoops, didn't, uh, I was on the wrong screen. Let's try this out. Okay. All right. So it works pretty well, like when he comes in. And then if I cut to, cut to, uh, 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 Bert saying, hey, Bert. And then maybe zoom out to cut to both of them together, uh, in the same frame. And what'll, uh, and I'm going to do, and the only reason I'm going to start, talking about this is because um it's already 10 36 or 10 35 um and i i do you know i've had a i've kind of had a long day i do want to wrap it up early but um let's see i got some comments here joe says you are also creating what it took dozens of people to create at hanna barbera i mean you're right i mean it took that you know what that's the beauty um, it says I'm a one man band. Thank you very much. Um, that's the beauty of programs like this. Now, obviously, you know, I don't hate Adobe animate. I've been using it since it was macro media flash in the nineties. I'm very familiar with the software. Um, I don't know all the updates cause I haven't used it recently, but it's what I have access to right now. I would prefer to animate in something a little stronger, um, like harmony or even something maybe like a like a uh, what do they call it uh, i can't even think of the name of the other software like tv paint or something i love i love those softwares i just can't afford them right now so i'm animating with what i have and this method like i said that i'm doing for storyboarding is the the method i work when i work when i'm doing a project alone um if i'm working for someone else i i storyboard more traditionally in the you know in the squares and stuff um but yeah so 
I have ideas, and I'll just sketch them really quick just to show you. So let me save this. Whoops, wrong wrong screen I'm on. Oh, I canceled. Sorry. So here's here's some things I'm going to do while I'm animating. So in addition to having these close-ups, I had ideas for, you know, um, what is going? Oh, I need a sorry, I need a keyframe in here. So let's say. It's uh, it's Bert over here, right? So he's talking and he's looking up, and I think I gave him glasses. I got to look at everything again. But here he is, and maybe he's sitting in the chair. So, you know, you got the chair like that. And I'll change the angle to a bit, but then I'll have Bart from the back, you know? And having Bart from the back, I don't have to animate his face. You know what I mean? So all this stuff that I did over here, um, which you can't see the turnaround unless I uh, unless I, I show the MPEG. Uh, oh, actually, no, I can show it to you. I just got to go into the symbol. Um, so because I have an animate. Oh, this is the old one. Um, yeah, but the, you, you saw what it is. I also have one for for uh, Bart as well. Um, I just... Uh, um, I just don't have him loaded up. I, I've, I've worked on him, and I'll show him again. But, yeah, so I'm going to be creating scenes uh, that, that would be less, you know, easy cuts, but, like you know, looking at them at those profiles. So all the things I did in here, when you look at these and I need to zoom out, this is what's going to help me in my designs. And I've done a different design since this one here. Um, so like this is a great view. All I got to do is angle his head down. So it looks like he's looking at the other character and have that other character looking up and Seat, you know, seating him in a chair. So this is going to be, um, like I said, very helpful to me. Uh, and that's why I make these. Um, but with that, guys, my God, it has been so much fun tonight. I'm sorry for the, for the mess up earlier where I couldn't find the audio. It has been a very, uh, like I said, very long day. And, um, I have some other stuff. Uh, let's see. What is Joe say? I'd also like to see some micro close-ups. Bart hand, Bart's hand as he announces their assignment. Maybe a piece of paper with the assignment. It looks great, question mark, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh <laughs> No, I, 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 I know what you meant, dude. I was just, I was just joking. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? No, you know what? That makes sense. Those are ideas I didn't have. But there will be, um, I do have ideas for other, other things. And, you know, the, the I do want, there's so much I, I want to add to this. And, and Joe and I have spoken privately um, about this. There is so much I really want to add to this this piece but um this the the dialogue moves so fast that it will you know i have I'll, I'll lose a lot um you know if we're not really seeing the important stuff about what they're talking about so i can i gotta focus specifically on what they're talking about um and if i can add the other stuff after i'll be happy to I mean, I will say I had an idea of turning it into like a very, you know, like almost Roger Rabbity kind of animation where like there's Toontown and like, oh, a broom and a, and a dustpan are walking around and they're putting the stuff in the or the waste paper baskets walking around, picking up the stuff on the floor. Like I have ideas for for doing that and really just because because in addition to just animating this, you know, the intro um, scene before he gets to the uh, before he gets to the writer room is a tribute to a lot of stuff I love in animation, uh, the people and things. So I thought if I added in extra pieces 
that really gave that feel kind of of a throwback. But I don't want to take away from the main characters. I don't want to take away from the, uh, you know, what the story's about. Like, like uh, Joe, he's saying, also them imagining a boat. You know, and that is, you know, they talk about a boat in there. I got to draw a boat at some point. And that imagination works out great unless they have a toy somewhere that they're able to pull out, you know, um, or or two imagination balloons. Like one's thinking of a, of a boat, like an actual real boat, and the other one is in the bathtub playing with a boat, you know, like there are humorous pieces um yes a mouse is a great thing to add kind of watching everything going on his eyes as they go back and forth but again i need to focus on on what's super important then i can go and explore and then play with the other stuff so um with that all i want to say is don't forget tomorrow night to uh and this is the background, but I'll go to the other thing. Um, this is the background I did at one point. But don't forget, tomorrow night, at it starts at 7.30 p.m. I'm going to hop on a few minutes after um, in Credit Chat, which is one of the shows I, I, uh, I founded before I moved. Well, I co-founded before I moved over to Get In Tune uh, as a full-time you know, show for me. Uh, Rick Goldschmidt. Uh, who is the author and historian for the Rankin Bass, uh, you know, animation. Um, he's going to be on in credit chat. I will be coming on and doing some interviews. I haven't, I haven't been on there in a while. It's going to be great to come back. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow night, 730 Eastern on in credit, in credit con HV on Facebook and YouTube. Um, I would, like I said, I'll be coming on maybe a, five ten minutes late um but i will be on i'll be talking with rick along with mike lopez who who is uh the host of the show and uh yeah with that guys wednesday night um i haven't made an ad up for it otherwise i'd show it to you but wednesday night is my holiday show of get in tune uh which i you know obviously weekly every wednesday um every wednesday night at 9 p.m eastern I go live, I speak to uh, other artists and, and writers and other creators in the field of cartooning, um, most usually comics, but um, I've talked with things with animation and voice actors and stuff as well. It is, uh, it is one of my, this is one of my favorite shows because what I do is I bring friends on that I haven't spoken to in a while um, or haven't been on my show in a while. And I just want to like, hey, what are you guys up to? Let's just kind of BS about comics, animation, the industry, whatever. Uh, people coming on tomorrow, um, Mike Belcher should be coming on, uh, J.M. DeSantis, uh, Phil Lavelli, um, Mike Cook, uh, Michael Cook, who if you guys, you know, animation fans are familiar with Chucky Chicken on YouTube. Um, he is doing, he might pop on if he has time. Uh, yeah, there's a few others that, that are probably going to come on too. You know, I'm going to keep them all as surprises, but I will have the ad up tomorrow for that. You can, you can check that out. Um, but yeah, you know, tune in tomorrow for in credit chat. Uh, it's in credit con HV on both YouTube and Facebook and, uh, Wednesday night, get in tune and I'll be back actually next Monday. I won't be back cause it's Christmas. Um, I'm deciding if I'm going to do a New Year's Day or not. It all depends on if I'm up for it. But if I'm not back on New Year's Day, I'll be back the following week. Um, Joe wants to say the Joe Bibb Show Christmas Show premieres on YouTube on Saturday. You know what? I am looking forward to that. And by the way, just speaking of that, Saturday is my last day of my sale. Uh, for those who are interested in cartooning lessons... I am doing virtual cartooning lessons at $35 an hour right now uh, for that one hour lesson. You can, you can go to my website, michaelgracia.com to find out more. And, um, and 
you know, it'll it'll tell you everything. But if you have a program like Adobe Animate that you want to learn better and you want to learn animation, I could do one hour sessions with you and teach these to you. Uh, if you want to learn just basic cartooning skills, whether it's how to make comic book superhero style or the drawing style I've been doing over the last couple of weeks here, I could do it all. Um, you know, so we will uh, we will see. Yes, uh, hire this guy. He's a cartoon wizard. There's actually also a cartoon wizard I draw every Wednesday, or I post every Wednesday. I draw it before Wednesday. Called the Wiz. You can follow it at the Wiz Comic. Where is it? Right there on Facebook and Instagram. Joe also asks if I could do something on his birthday, January second. I would love to, but that is what a what day of the week is that? A Tuesday. I got to see because Tuesday nights are when I usually finish the whiz up. So I got to see if I can get the whiz done early, I'll do a, I'll do a stream on your birthday. If I can't, I have to finish the whiz to post. Okay, Joe. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to everything guys for all of you who've tuned in. I am, I'm very happy, uh, that you guys are watching. I'm happy you guys are enjoying everything. Um, like I said, just keep following along weekly uh for this you guys have a happy uh happy holidays whatever you whatever you celebrate um just be safe have fun enjoy your friends and family and we will we'll see you soon all right guys uh again tomorrow night on incredicon hv on facebook and youtube and then wednesday night getting tune is back merry christmas happy holidays merry christmas we love you platonically. Thank you. The whiz is funny. Thank you for that. I appreciate everything. Everybody, have a great night. Have a happy holiday. And if I don't see you before that, have a great new year. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.